the... I could have sworn rent was going to be due on the 28th. Maybe it changed because I'm garbage at saving up money? Or maybe I was reading it wrong. That's very possible. Anyway, hello everybody and welcome back to Valhalla. We return with another episode after a very crazy one last time where we saw a ghost that nobody else could see. That was kind of crazy. But we're, we're chillin', we're fine, the Christmas craziness is over, now it's New Year's craziness, so maybe we're just seeing ghosts because we're stressed out. Or maybe there's a real actual ghost haunting us. I still haven't played the prologue, so I don't know. But let's just get started with some reading. Ooh, nice. Yo, Yuru Yuri, new season. It's finally here! I can't believe I'm alive for this day. Thank you, based god. All boards report in. What other boards, you idiot? Nice! More stupid mo blobs. YY gets new season, but the actual best YY is still up in the air. My internet service gets cut off tomorrow because I can't afford it anymore. Wake me up! Get a job, you stupid neat. Oh god, here we go. Prepare hot cocoa, sit in comfy couch, put on my favorite mega Christmas sweater, see snow falling outside, turn on the heater, get my blanket, watch glorious YY and fall asleep when it ends. I am the comfy. I wish I was this comfy. Have work tomorrow. Enjoy the Yurus for me. Danger. The thread is closed. Sounds cute. For nerds, maybe. <laughs> At least they're having fun. Both the other ones are ones we've seen before, so let's check the news. There's always something going on on the news. Biker gang arrested after vandalism during protests. The members of one of the largest biker gangs in the Motor City sector were arrested after the group's leader and her entourage were found at the site of a protest last Friday. Their leader, commonly known in the streets as Christine Love, declared to the press that they were unjustly arrested and that her gang was only there to defend protesters from the White Knights. They're afraid of us. They know they can't take us down in the streets, so they used pr protesters as a shield, and we had no option but to surrender, Love told AE during a phone conversation. They're currently detained and waiting for trial. The formal charges are unknown so far, probably because there aren't any. Isn't she a game developer? She's many things. Just awesome like that. Parliament discusses anime influence. During an unusual meeting today held at Parliament, delegates discussed the effects of anime on the population. It's nothing but filth, trash, a representative for the Workers' Party yelled during the meeting. If I could choke every single writer and animator out there, I'd do it. I'd choke him with my own enhanced hands. Several anime studio heads have responded to the news. I think they should, would ban it if it wasn't bringing so much money into the local market, Yama K, a producer, told the Augmented Eye during a phone interview. I do agree that anime is trash, but I'll save the genre, you can trust me. Ah yes, important topics and all. Yeah, the other one was about, like, people being unjustly arrested, and this one is like, politicians hate something. Taylor the Brain, tired after name change requests. A couple of weeks ago, we wrote about Taylor, one of the brains from the Sola Anima project. One of the highlights from the interview was that that was unfortunately stripped from the finished version was a stray comment about how many people asked Taylor to change their name to Brian on a regular basis. I know people try to be funny, but I won't change my name for a punchline, Taylor told the AE team. I like the name Taylor, and there's nothing wrong with Brian. I just won't be a part of the joke. My life is worth more than that. Taylor is currently looking at their chances at becoming a senator in the upcoming electoral season. Finally, they can take care of our anime problem. Taylor! <laughs> Alright, I think that's all we have, so why don't we head to work? Tuesday, December 27th. Good evening. Oh, we don't have signal. We'll just turn it off. Hey Jill, let's have a New Year's party this Saturday. Another party? Isn't that a bit soon? Why, did someone famous get killed at a New Year's Eve party? No, I mean... Uh, never mind. Sure, I'm in for it. Great! And Gil? He's coming too. I mean, it's not like he has anything else to do. I'm <laughs> just roasting him. Hey. Nah, I mean, where is he? He was escorting a client off of his to the station. He should be back any second now. Wait, a client? Sorry, this is what threw me off when I was reading it. A client for here or a client for whatever else he's up to? Back. See? So, you come into the New Year's party too, Gil? Uh, it's not like I have anything else to do, so... I told you. We're depressing people. Oh yeah, the kid from the other day, Gabby, I think you called her, asked me to give you this. I believe it's a note. A, a note? Gabby? Let's see, wait, is this the note from our ex's sister? 
First of all, I want to apologize for my behavior before. I was still hurt by my sister's death and it wasn't fair to take out all of the stress on you, let alone put the blame on you. And so it feels weird to ask this of you after how I treated you, but I really want to talk to you. I want to catch up, to chat for a while, to do what you were doing with me before I lashed out. I want to understand this freedom you talked about, the fear that drove you to fight with my sister. I'll go back to the bar on the 31st. I won't take up too much of your time. Oh, we're gonna see her again. I am actually really impressed. I very much appreciate the apology. I did not expect one, honestly. I didn't think we would ever see her again, but it looks like we are. And honestly, this is probably the best time for it to happen because we've both had time to think about things and like just like think about our feelings relating to what happened and what we learned. Uh, and I think we've had some time to think and mature and one of us has apologized. We should probably apologize too when we see her. Um, but we're finally gonna get to talk to her and explain things and I, I'm really excited for that. I can't wait to see Gabby again. If you don't wanna see me after all that, I'll understand. But please, I really wanna talk to you, Gabby. Wow, that girl has a big vocabulary. She was always a smart one. Hmm? The 31st is written in different handwriting, huh? Oh yeah, she asked me when you would be here and relatively free, so I told her about the party. Oh, she's coming to the party! I also assumed you'd say yes to the party, which might not have been the best idea now that I think about it. B boss, I'm having second thoughts about coming to the party. What? Why? Well, this is nerve-wracking, too. Like, as awesome as it is that she apologized and she wants to talk, after what happened last time and all of the guilt that Jill has been feeling, I can understand her anxieties around it. But, because I really don't want to face Gabby again. <sighs> now it's coming back to me. What drove me to never go back and apologize after all these years. Fear and shame. Shame because I know I made a hideously stupid mistake and it's painful to face your mistakes. And fear of what they might say. With Lenore, we never broke up formally, so I was always afraid that if we were to meet again, she'd break up with me. And I don't want Gabby to tell me that she hates me to my face. Lenore was in the right to break up with me, and Gabby's in the right to hate me. But I don't want her to. Maybe if I never see her again, she'll never tell me that, and... Jill, you idiot! <laughs> huh? You're thinking backwards! Didn't the letter say she wanted to understand you? If you bail out on this, she will hate you. Not only that, but you're getting a new chance here. Do you want to live the rest of your life running from another memory? Didn't you just say to Armitage that you hated feeling like that? Oh. Armitage? Titty hacker. <laughs> Alma, right. I don't know what happened when you fought with that girl's sister. But now you have a chance to make amends. And not only that, you have us watching your back. So I want you to think about this. One day of fear or a lifetime filled with regret. Which one do you pick? That's very true. And there's also the fact that like, there's only like two ways this could go. One, we never see her again. We, we ditch her the party and don't see her and she hates us. Or we talk to her and she hates us or we actually get to talk and maybe come to an understanding, which, like, you know, you gotta take the good with the bad, there's always a chance for things to go certain ways, so we might as well go for it, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I hated feeling like that. I won't run away this time. Good, because I would have gone to your apartment and dragged you out of there if need be, and considering this is the person who caught someone jumping off of a building, I believe that she could drag us here. Kicking and screaming, probably. Hey, boss. Thanks. That's what friends are for. Only friends? Yeah. Anyways, let's start the day. She's like, oh, don't think about it. Hmm. What songs do we want? I'm probably gonna accidentally pick the allowed ones again by- Oh, well, I can always load the previews. Okay, this might take a little longer. There we go. I think that's all of it. I was going for more of a lo-fi vibe this time, especially after that letter. We need some time to study slash relax slash think. While we serve drinks, obviously. We're at work. Ready. Time to mix drinks and change lives. Guys, please go away. Seriously though, it's the second note that has stirred such feelings in me. Second one? 
two weeks ago, I got another note in the mail. This one is from Lenore. Was that the envelope you took away from me in a panic? Yep. You haven't opened it? Oh my god! Did she send us a letter and tell us that she was gonna die and we didn't open it? Why not open it with Gabby? You're facing one fear, might as well face the other. Maybe. Don't push her, Chief. I'm not, I just know she's capable of doing all that. I'll go secure stuff for the party. Call me if you need anything. Keep it up, Jill. Aw, I really like Gil. Quietly supportive. He's not like, you know, Dana pushes us to do stuff, Gil is there to support us. So is Dana, but Gil's always like that silent support. He's always there. He'll be there if we need him. Thanks. Happy holidays! Someone's happy. We held a party for the staff and their children. You should have seen the faces of those kids receiving gifts. Nabbing that Santa suit at the last minute the other day was totally worth it. Santa dresses seem to have been popular this year. I heard they were sold out in most places. There was this weird shortage of Santa suits, but luck was on my side this year. <clears throat> uh, sorry for that outburst. No, it's awesome to see you happy! Why, you looked so happy! I felt happy too! You shouldn't hide your happiness. Um... Anyway, can you get me a cobalt velvet, please? Sure. A cobalt velvet for Stella. Good to see ya. Let's see, two aldehyde, three flanergide, and one, two, three, four, five, on the rocks, and mix. There we go. Here you are. Thanks. Are you meeting with Say today? She should be here in a bit. She told me she wanted a drink here, and since I was coming here too... Sadly, I can't stay for long. I have some errands to run. How has she been lately? She's better. Her wounds have been healing really nicely. If only she stopped scratching at her bandages so often. What about her eye? Eye? Oh, hers. Sorry. Ahem. <clears throat> It'll take longer to heal, but as long as it's kept clean, there should be no problem. But to be honest, I'm more worried about her emotional wounds. She doesn't show it, but she's had a depressive bouts from time to time. And who can blame her? Her life changed completely. The job she loved no longer exists. She was used as a disposable pawn in the whole bank affair. I'm afraid it will all make her go back to her old ways. Old ways? There was a rough spot when Say was a teen. Her mom's clinic was about to close, then her biological father, who was an asshole, showed up. And the teachers at her school didn't help. Say's not a slow learner by any means, but her way of learning stuff is... different. She needs equivalences to things she knows. You need to get in a, a bit in her mindset. Once you get this, she's a fast learner, but schools don't have that kind of patience. They basically branded her a failure. She even dropped out. I would have suggested a special course somewhere else, but that would have offended her. She's always been against being labeled as special or different. Anyway, Say was totally different during that period. I don't blame her, that's a lot of stuff going on at once. <laughs> Foul mouth, short fused. Always frowning, the total opposite of how she is nowadays. So like you, <laughs> from time to time, I see that old look cross her face and it scares me. You're comparing her to her teen self though. People mature. Maybe she'll show signs from time to time, but I bet Say knows better than to go back to that. I hope so. Get me something cold and sweet, will ya? Sure. Cold and sweet. I think I've heard of that one before. Yes! Their name is Stella. <laughs> Let's see, we got sweet drinks. And we need a cold one. Sugar Rush is not cold. Sparkle Star, not cold. Blue Fairy, not cold. Come on, guys, give me something. Sweet, classy, happy. Piano woman. Oh, I just need to look for something on the rocks, right? I was looking for cold. Aged. On the rocks. So that could be one. Aged. Aged. Okay, so it really is only the uh, moon blast. That's the only one on the rocks. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. One, 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 two. On the rocks. We gotta wait for the shake a shake Shake-a-shake-a. There we go. Here. Thanks. This is the kind of stuff Stay asks for, you know? Now that you mention it... You know, back when Say reappeared, it seems she came here first. Oh yeah, she told me that. Glad she found a familiar face after all that chaos. Did she tell you we had a talk at the back of the bar? You did? Well, it's nothing that important, but... She was devastated, you know? She was afraid, tired. It hit me quite hard. Not only after seeing her covered in bandages, but also after seeing her so cheerful before. I guess I should be thanking you then. You what? When I met with her, she told me you calmed her down quite a bit. I did? I'm guessing with all that was going on, the desire to not worry me weighed on her. It's happened before. So it's good there was someone else for her to share her stress with. Thanks. Um, sure. I, I don't think I did anything noteworthy, but sure. Jill, you need to take credit for things. I've been wondering, can you really be so calm in the lower parts of the city? Huh? I mean, the streets are not exactly safe, and a cat boomer is sure to become a target. Well, I have my security staff with me at all times, so there's no problem. Besides, this part of the city is comfier. Come again? Sure, uptown is cleaner and maybe more secure, but it's also too... sterile. Around here, you can actually feel the warmth of the people. You can feel that they're living. I especially like going to a busy food stand. I feel the warmth there that uptown doesn't have. It's also easier to talk to people. You finally came. Welcome! Say, it's good to see you! If you try to talk to someone in the upper part of the city, they either shrug you off or flat out ignore you. People around here are a bit wary, but they're also more likely to talk to you. Not that things aren't nice there, though. Can I get you something? I feel like having a beer. Make that too. But I just want one! I'm asking for one for me, adding one to your order. Oh, that! Right! Two beers for the girls! I love you guys. Alright, let's see. One... One, two, one, one, two, one, two, three, four. Mix that up. Got one beer. One, one, two, one, one, two, one, two, three, four. Mix that up. Boom, serve. Here. Thank you. Thanks. Say, you should have seen the kids after you left. They were all playing with the toys you picked. You've nailed it again this year. They were all asking, where's Say? Where's Say? Why do they call you just Say when they call me Auntie Stella? I don't look that old. <laughs> don't worry. They still like you. Sorry I had to leave, but Mom worked overtime that night and I couldn't leave her alone. What happened? Well, there were fireworks and some dog thought it'd be safe to hide in a jar. Oh! Oh, okay. A veterinary clinic. I was like, what did the dog have to do with anything? The little guy managed to get his head and paw inside before getting stuck. And it was plastic, so they couldn't just try to break it. That's messy. She needed someone to hold the dog while she worked. Poor fellow was scared. Well, I'm out. Oh, yeah. We'll have a New Year's party this Saturday if you want to come. Sure, it's better than depressing myself with my dad's woes about the next fiscal year. Oh, yeah, you guys get to come to this one! I'll be here. Bye, Jill. Bye, Say. Careful! Please come again. You wanna come too? I'd love to! I'll also make up for not coming last time. How was the party? Pretty nice. We played truth or dare. Had some fun, broke some glasses, ate lots and lots of food. Seriously, looking back, the amount of food was ridiculous compared to the number of people who were there. Better leftovers than left hanging, don't you think? Yeah. Can I get you something? Let's try something classy. Okay. Something classy for Say. Maybe something sweet and classy, because she does like sweet drinks. Let's see what we could get. Brantini. 
sweet and classy. Let's do a Brantini. And it's happy too, just like her. That's six. One, two, three. One Carmen Trine, aged and mixed. Brantini. Something classy. Yep, this is the thing. Stella came in quite cheery about Sunday. This Sunday? Oh yeah! Well, you know, her birthday is actually the 25th. Really? There's a weird story from when she was a kid. She heard Mega Santa's story and somehow she got into her head that by being born on the 25th, she was the spiritual reincarnation of the original Santa. That made her start giving out gifts like crazy. She got over it, but the gifting stuck to her. Spiritual reincarnation? Well, the story says that the Redmond family destroyed Santa's spirit. I really want to see, like, this whole story. I want the lore. And that Mega Santa was reborn as the manifestation of the Christmas spirit. She thought that she was the old Santa spirit in a new body. <laughs> that girl was delusional as a kid. Huh. Speaking of things you did when you were young, Stella mentioned she's worried about you going back to your old ways. Something about a rough period where you were angry or something. Oh, that. It's sweet that she's worried. But I won't go back to those days just like that, though. Even if I face the same situation, I'm more mature, you know? I'm not a teen anymore. Hey, that's what we told her. Expected as much. Told her as much. Hey, can you get me something bubbly? Sure. Something bubbly for a bubbly girl. Let's see. Bubbly and sweet, perhaps. Oh, well... <laughs> Bubbly's not a flavor. I keep saying this. I kind of want to give her the Cobalt Velvet because that's what, uh... That's bland. Let's not give her that one. Could get her another beer, but that kind of feels like cheating. Let's go with the Cobalt Velvet since that's what we gave Stella. Two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four... Five, on the rocks and mixed. Boom. Here. Bubbly, bubbly. Oh, what's up? Are you okay? Hey, Jill. Want to know how Stella got her eye? Oh, is this what she freaked out about earlier? When we said eye, she, she said, like, eye? Huh? I feel you shouldn't tell me that. She told you my story. I mean, she likes you enough. It's fine. You remember when I told you one white knight saved me from another? Well, it's about the other one. Apparently he was running away after... doing something. Don't know. We were at the park and he held us hostage. At one point they tried to approach and he just... Oh. He gouged Stella's eye out. Oh god! I tried to stop him but he just went and kicked me. I still remember that kick. I could feel my ribs breaking. There was pain in places I didn't know I could feel pain. From time to time, I still relive that day. The kick in my torso, Stella's screams, it's... It's chilling. I briefly regained consciousness after the kick, when I felt like I was being lifted. The white knight that attacked us was on the floor, not moving. I was on another white knight's shoulder. He took his helmet off and put it on an anguish, Stella. I passed out, and when I came to, I was in the hospital. Apparently, the kick ruptured a couple organs, and I was put on emergency care. I woke up because Stella was punching my leg, telling me to wake up. Damn. Just... damn. What made you bring this up? I bring this up because that guy that was here last time I came... I think he's the one that saved us. Oh, wait, Virgilio? Or the detective? No fucking way. Virgilio? Really? No, what? No way. Wait. Oh my god. Wait, people are looking for him. He was acting outrageously so certain people wouldn't find him. Was he hiding from the people that were lynching the White Knights? <gasps> was he the one that helped Stella in the bank attack? What made you think that? Sure, more pounds in years, but I'm pretty sure it's him. There's something about his face I just can't dismiss. I'd like to see him again. Do you know how? Do you know the steampunk museum? Ask for Virgilia there. Gotcha! Well, I'm done for today. Thanks, Jill. Please come again. Oh, go take my break, Gil. Sure. Yo, that's crazy! 
I was wondering where Virgilio came into all of this for him to be the one that saved Stella? Puts it in a whole new perspective, especially after we found out that most of his behavior was just him being outrageous for the sake of, like, getting suspicion off of him. That makes a lot of sense. That's crazy. I hope they get to meet again. Maybe Virgilio or Say will tell us about it before the party. Or at the party. I'm excited either way. Time to do my panic save. And now we will continue. It's safe to keep playing. I wonder if I left food for four. Maybe, maybe not. I'm actually gonna keep the music this time. I like the playlist we went with. Okay, I'm here. Oh, Dorothy! Um... Dorothy? Uh-oh. Is this about the thing about... them hearing voices? You won't get through the bar anytime soon. You can stop walking. Oh no, something's wrong with her. Huh? Oh, honey. You want something? The usual, I guess. Usual, usual, usual. The usual. I wonder what's wrong with her, though. What was her usual again? Oh yeah, piano woman. Piano woman. There it is. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three. Age and mix. Piano woman. Here. This is nice. Nice. N nice. Nice. Okay, you're freaking me out. What's up with you? Hey, honey. How do you know what's real? Oh, God. How so? I mean, how do you know if what you see is an actual thing? How can you tell if what you see around you is actually happening? What tells you everything is not actually a fabrication? I think, therefore, I am? What tells me I'm not just a simulation in a computer? What? Is, what, 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 what where did this, is this coming from? And those ponderings brought you to the bar? What? Oh, I'm in the bar. Am I? Dorothy. So you're having a solipsistic crisis of sorts? Solip what? Solip sol solipsism. The theory that the self is the only thing that can be known to exist. See, that's another thing right there, that word. Solipsism. What does it even mean? Where the hell did it come from? Well, solace means alone, and ipsa means self. Yes, but how did it come to be? Do you expect me to believe that a lot of people just randomly decided to make noises? And decide, hey, let's make this noise mean this? Pretty much, yeah. It doesn't make sense! Words don't make sense! Life doesn't make sense! I've been repeating words for a long time and they've stopped making sense, why? Calm down. That's just semantic sa satiation. I don't think using big words are gonna help her feel better. Stop making up words, honey! And then there's this counter. How can I be sure this counter is really here? It is. Please stop tapping it. Hold on. Just making sure. That's what she's doing. I should make her a drink. At the very least, I'll have something to throw at her. Oh my god, why would you do that? Have we used the rum yet? Hmm. Let's do the rum. Bottle set. Okay, there we go. Stop tapping the counter so much. I'm this close to throwing this at your face. You don't want rum in your face. Sorry. <sighs> so let's start from the beginning. Since when did you have this existential crisis? Since earlier today, I think. I was remembering the good times I had with my, uh, with my guardian. But I don't know. It was all too sudden. I was thinking about everything that happened from a week ago until now. How much fun I was having, how much I loved everyone around me. And out of nowhere, the thoughts started piling up in my mind. What is love? What is fun? Are those feelings real? Is all of that real? Am I real? What tells me I'm actually in a body? What if I'm just some computer somewhere thinking it has a body? What if I'm just a human girl in a comatose dream? What tells me that you're real? 
Huh? For all I know, I might just be a figment of someone's imagination. Or even just an AI simulation in some computer that thinks it's a human. I've been there, Dorothy. That existential doubt and crisis, that uncertainty about whether or not things are real. It was a couple of months only, but I remember having panic attacks and scratching in my arm to feel something. But the panic attack gave me a rush of adrenaline, so I couldn't feel the scratch and the fear got worse. What did you do to get over it? Oddly enough, I read a book. The Last Rain in the World, one of my favorites. At one point I cried with the book and I realized I was crying over fake things, the story and its characters. I didn't care less for them because they were fake. Why not think of reality like that too? Even if I'm a figment of someone's imagination, I'd still care about you. Yeah, it's kind of like how like, you know, even with like video games and, and like she said with like books and movies and stuff, you can still grow attached to these characters and love them and cry for them and what they go through even if they're not real. Because to us, it's real, and what we experience and what we feel, we're experiencing it as we read it and play it. That's what I told myself, at least. It wasn't immediate, but that focus helped me. Heh. <laughs> I, I like it. Hey, can I take this drink? I made it for you. Thanks. Okay, then. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> Whew. <laughs> Why did you throw it on your head? To feel something you made! And? It burns and it itches a bit. That's the rum. I'll get you a towel. Delivery for Dana's- Oh, I've been here before. Oh, it's you! Oh my god, you were like in the very first one, weren't you? Mr. Mario, welcome back. Uh, I have a delivery for Dana Zane? Who's that? She's my boss, I'll get it for her. Right, uh, sign here, please. It's a big package. I wonder what's inside. You should open it. If it's something perishable, maybe it'll need to be refrigerated. Let's see. It's a... wiener. A really big wiener. Wait, wiener dog or like wiener wiener? Or like hot dog? You're being very- like, come on, Gil. Oh! Hey, honey? Hmm? The big package had a big wiener inside! <laughs> What will your boss do with such a thing? You don't want to know, man. I don't know how she'll cook it. Perhaps she'll chop it? Okay, so it's an actual wiener. Okay. Honey! Seems the wiener is too big to eat correctly. <laughs> Stop! Maybe you can prepare some right now? What do you say, honey? Do you want some of your boss's wiener? <laughs> Dorothy! I don't! <laughs> Seriously, Jill? She's the one <laughs> making the jokes. And you're the one trying not to laugh too hard at them. Anyway, we all know if we dare to cook this without her permission, she'll hang us upside down. Oh, hung? <laughs> she'll hang me upside down. Hey, Jacket Boy, what's your name? I'm... Mario? Come on, Mario. I'll buy you a drink. Uh... You might have another delivery, you know? This is the last one, actually. I'll accept your offer. I'll have a sunshine cloud. And you? I'm fine. Sunshine cloud for Mario. One, two. One, two. And you know what? We won't put in any Carmen train in it just because he might have to drive home. I'm responsible. Shake a shake a. Boom. Here. Thanks. Hey, uh... Call me Dorothy. You can also call me Darling for the right amount. I'm glad to see Dorothy's feeling better. Yeah, Dorothy. Why did you buy me a drink? Just to let you know, I don't swing that way. What way? Lilim? I'm a man's man. But I like men, okay? Not that there's anything wrong with liking women, but... Oh, don't worry. I wasn't hitting on you. I was thanking you. Thanking me? Your package let me see Honey here laughing like an idiot! <laughs> it's easier than you think. Oh, come on, now I'm getting roasted. I miss when we were roasting Gil and only Gil. That made me happy and... I don't know, it fit with what she was telling me earlier. I'm more calm than when I entered. Uh, glad to help, I guess. Well, duty calls. 
Bye, Mario. Bye, John. Bye, honey. Enjoy your big wiener. Out with you. <laughs> she seems like a nice girl. I, I, don't, I, I don't mean it for it to sound like I... I get it, I get it. Don't worry. You like guys. It's clear. Speaking of, you like motorcycles, don't you? I do, yeah. Have you been to the Motor District? I spend all my free time in the Motor District, actually. Why? Is it true what they say about all the illegal races going on there? Oh yeah, the motorcycle gang stuff. You're not a cop, are you? You have to tell me if you are. As far as I remember, no. Well, I mean, there are illegal races, but there's also semi-legal league going on there. Semi-legal? That's what I'm thinking. The authorities acknowledge that there's races going on. They don't know what goes on in them, however. Modified engines, casualties, substance abuse. The illegal ones end up being safer in the end. Huh. How does that work? Have you heard about a biker called Christine Love? Miss Love, of course. Everyone knows who she is. What about her? Is her gang as dangerous as they say? I don't know. Nobody knows. Excuse me? They look intimidating enough, but truth is that nobody has faced them directly. Moreover, nobody wants to be the one that got beaten to a pulp if they turn out to be what they seem. That's a- that's a good way- that's like a good reputation, you know, you know? Considering what we read, it sounds like they were trying to protect protesters. So if you've got a reputation where nobody knows what you'll do, but they're, they won't even try because it sounds like they'll get beat up, that could be a good way to protect the protesters, although it did sound like she got arrested, right? So her gang is just there, menacingly doing their own thing, not bothering anyone. Oh. Do you want anything else? I'll have a piano man. All right. A piano man from Mario. That is a promo drink. Let's see. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, on the rocks and mixed. There we go. Here you are. Yeah, this is nice. This will sound weird, but do you believe in replobots? Replobots? Like clones? There's the belief that some Lilim out there are designed to perfectly replicate a particular human. That some or someone or something replaces those humans with such Lilim, like doppelgangers? Thus they call them replobots. That's not my neighbor. You know a lot about this. I don't. It's in most magazines nowadays. The tabloid ones are like the real ones. Well, it's the first time I've heard of it. What about it? On my way here, I almost ran over my neighbor. He just showed up in the middle of the street. And I say almost because he moved really quickly out of the way. Then I went to deliver a package and somehow my neighbor was there almost immediately after the whole thing. And he was there the whole time. Maybe it was someone that looked like him? He had the same looks, clothes, and mannerisms. Trust me, you know a perfect replica when you see one. And you saw the kid Lilim here, they could easily pass off as humans. There are even Lilim idol singers nowadays whose voices can pass off as human. They could be passing off as humans under our very own noses, replacing us little by little. At this point in time, I really doubt it. Lilim behavior is a bit different. You can easily tell someone's a Lilim because they seem... How do I put this? They don't care about risk and danger as much as we do. They treat risks with a lot more leniency. Still, be careful. Keep an eye out for uncanny doppelgangers. That's not my neighbor. I'm leaving. Thanks for everything. Please come again, but don't freak me out next time with doppelganger talk. What's your take on the Ripplebot thing? Do you believe in them? Do you? Uh, not really, but I asked you first. When I was in high school, I had this irrational fear of aliens. I was paranoid that they would come. What would I do then? I remember I lost lots of sleep because of it. That doesn't answer my question. Let me finish. After many months of fear, I reached a conclusion that might as well apply here. It's useless to be afraid. I'm but a simple woman. I wouldn't be able to do shit against them. So I'd rather live without being afraid. Because the memories of not being afraid will be my only solace when the nebulae cabs ar crabs arrive. Wait, crabs? Uh, I mean when the replobots come. Jill, are you still afraid of aliens? What part of it's useless to be afraid didn't you catch? 
Right. <laughs> that arched eyebrow. Zach, did anything happen? We got a big wiener for you. I discovered I have a sense of humor of an eight-year-old. Did anything new happen? Ouch. Everyone roast Gil instead of me. Can we go back to that? Hey. <laughs> they brought you a package. Ah, yes, my curated wiener. It's a gift from my folks. It was delayed in customs, but here it is. A delayed wiener. Maybe you should get some Viagra for that. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll stop. You guys want some of it? <laughs> That's a new one. Shut up! Here's some pocket money. I'm out of excuses. She's just paying me now. Okay, good. We got some good funds. We have 6,000. We should be able to get, if I keep not making mistakes, we should be able to get, like enough money for rent. We did it! Rent is due on the 30th. Please make sure your account has the necessary 10,000 or you'll be evicted. Jill wonders if Maneki Nekos actually bring luck, buy one to prevent her from getting too distracted. All right. You've been chuckling since yesterday. <laughs> Wiener. All right, all right. We'll get the, the Neko. How much is it? 550? That's not too bad. They say these bring luck, but it's paws broken, so I wouldn't trust him. Well, we're buying it anyway. Jill bought what she wanted, and she's pleased with herself. She will surely focus at work. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, is it that one right there? Yeah! Alright, that was a really interesting day. I'm very excited. It was a lot chiller than the past few days we've had. Well, Christmas was pretty chill, but it was very fast. Uh, but this day, it was pretty chill, other than what Dorothy was going through. But we got the letter from Gabby, and I'm very excited to see her at the uh, New Year's party. I really hope we can reconnect, and hopefully Jill will open that letter. I really want to know what's in it. Maybe... She told us what was going to happen a long time ago. It could be why Gabby got so mad. Because we didn't know, because we didn't open the letter. I'm also really worried about Dorothy, but hopefully we helped make her feel better. And it was nice to see Mario again. I honestly, until he showed up on screen, I did not remember him. Because it's been so long. But I like when the, the older characters come back. I wonder if that, that Donovan guy will come back. The boss, or the really angry blonde dude. I don't know. I don't think I want either of them to come back, but if they did come back, I'd be like, hey, I know you. Either way, it was really fun, and I was really happy to see Stella and Say too, and they're coming to the party! That's so exciting. It makes me even more excited, so we gotta get through these next days fast so we can actually see the party. But that'll all have to wait for next time. Until then, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. Remember to take care of yourselves, curate your wieners, and have a good day!